Hello, Dr. Mike here again with another quick tutorial on 3D printing. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to convert a CT scan into a 3D printable medical file of a skull in about five minutes using free open source software. So let's get started. First, start off by opening 3D Slicer. 3D Slicer is a free open source software package for visualizing medical image files. Uh, click on this icon and let it load up and drag and drop your DICOM data set onto the 3D Slicer window. Select copy. Your DICOM data set will now uh, start to load in 3D Slicer. Um, as I was saying, Slicer is used for a lot of medical imaging research. It's really a nice software package and the best thing about it is that it's free and open source. It can be downloaded from slicer.org. So, when your DICOM data set um, is fully loaded, go ahead and open this TCGA 06514 data set. Okay. Now go to Volume Rendering, turn on the eyeball to switch on Volume Rendering, click this crosshairs to center, I like to select a preset CT bone, and adjust the slider until uh, things are looking about right. Then go to Editor, Generic Colors are fine, select Bone, Threshold Effect Tool, and enter in an appropriate value. Then click Apply. Next we're going to go to the Make Model Effect tool and what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to uh, convert this selected uh, tan colored uh, uh, section into a surface model and you'll see that after clicking Apply that the, uh, the 3D rendering in the corner over here is going to uh, change. There we go. And when it does, now we can save our surface model, unselect all this stuff, click Bone, STL, and I've created a special folder here, and click Save. So now our uh, file is uh, here as a Bone, a Bone STL file. Open Blender and uh, select import STL file, we'll go to that tutorial, and select bone. Now Blender is a another free open source software package that um, is primarily used for CGI animation. Uh, it's really a powerful software package and has a lot of uh, great mesh editing tools and features and the best thing about it is that it is also free and open source. Uh, your model will be imported and it will not be centered so click geometry to origin to center it and you'll see that there's going to be a lot of these uh, bone islands all around the model that we need to get rid of. Uh, so I'm going to go to edit mode. Uh, these models are are captured when we convert it uh, the DICOM image set to STL um, because they're also uh, of the appropriate density. So I'm going to select a random vertex in this model, hit Control L to uh, select all contiguous, Control I to invert that selection and now we've uh, got all of our bone islands selected and we can subsequently delete them by hitting the X key and then selecting V to delete the vertices. I'm going to go back to object mode. In my computer this is a little slow because we're dealing with almost one uh, and a half million vert vertices here. I'm going to go to um, uh, modifiers and apply a smoothing algorithm to this and you'll see that when I do that uh, this gets all smoothed over. Click apply. Now that kind of jagged stair step uh, appearance of the skull uh, has been resolved. And I'm going to save this new um, new file as bone smooth. 
So by applying the smoothing algorithm, I've made the surface of the bone um, uh, a little more realistic, actually a lot more realistic when compared to the file that was uh, outputted from 3D Slicer. So it that was volumetric, so it had a uh, very jagged appearance. Finally, I'm going to open Mesh Mixer, which is freely available from uh, Autodesk. And I'm going to open that bone smooth um, file that I just created in Blender. And Autodesk is going to think about it for a while. It's a relatively large file with about one and a half million vertices. Um, now I'm going to go to Analysis and Inspector, and any errors in the mesh will have red lines and be highlighted, and it looks okay. So this file is now uh, ready for 3D printing. You can send it to your 3D printer, and it should print without any trouble. Uh, that was a very, very quick, uh, approximately five minute tour on how to create a 3D printable uh, skull from a medical imaging scan in less than five minutes or about five minutes uh, using free open source software. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for a more detailed tutorial that will go over all of these steps uh, which will be appearing on my blog soon. Have a good day.